What's happening guys? Gvids here. If you guys are new here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any future content. And if you guys are new to Ray Redemption Online, this is actually going to be a somewhat helpful for you. Um, for the vets guys, this is probably not going to help you out so much because you are going to know everything around here. So you might as well just hit that like button and keep on moving or stick around just to kind of help out the video. That would be super awesome. But other than that, guys, we're going to be talking about, like, some of the best locations where we can uh, camp hunt. And that's hunting from our camp, obviously. Um, so basically what we're going to want to do is only be able to take a few steps off camp and be able to shoot some animals, kill them down, and fill up crypts nice and easy. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, guys. You can just go to Harriet and grab a legendary animal, bring it on over to Crips, and that's probably the easiest and fastest way to fill up the materials. But if you actually wanna do some hunting, this is gonna be a good method for you. Um, this is my location here. Again, you can use the Heartlands, but this is just, uh, I have a few better tips on why this is better than the Heartlands coming up. So we're just gonna be able to cross the tracks and come back, which is the number one reason why it's better than the Heartlands, because we don't need to run very far away. I know the heartlands you don't really need to either but here we can actually stockpile our animals so if we can kill as many as we want within this little area here and there's usually multiple ones that spawn in um, and that way we can basically kill them all down if you don't have enough room either in the wagon or just by carrying them with your lasso and your horse then you can just leave them there go to the camp unload and then come on back and they're still going to be there for you and there's usually actually a few more to kill on the way back as well. So we're just going to go ahead. There's one right there. We're just going to leave him. And uh, we'll grab him on the return trip. I would normally lasso him and just bring him with me, obviously. You want to make sure you're doing the best of each trip. So bring in as many animals with you at once as you can, which is normally two. Um, like it again, it only takes you like 30 seconds to pop over there and pop back. So you don't really need the hunting wagon to come back and forth with. If you really want to, you could probably just leave the hunting wagon over there and run back and forth on foot and have the animals spawn in for you and then you can kill them down, throw them in the wagon. I've never actually used a wagon over on this side because I just don't feel the need to. And I'm not personally a big fan of that hunting wagon. It's big, bulky, slow, and a pain in the ass to use. And uh, I just don't find it useful unless I've got a legendary animal from the free roam and I uh, want to be able to uh, store it somewhere. That's usually what I do. But we're going to go ahead and grab this buck here. I'm just trying to show you guys that every time you go from camp on over across the tracks, there's going to be some new animals here for us to get. And uh, the cool thing is we can actually stockpile them like I was saying. Um, so you don't necessarily need to pick them up all at once, which is a really big bonus. Because um, at the Heartlands, you really need to uh, grab everything at once. And you usually use a wagon in that location. But here, they don't despawn on you, so you can uh, just leave them around and come on back and grab them. Obviously, if you go too far away, they will despawn. But as long as you go to the camp and back, they will always be there for you and uh, you can kill them down as much as you need to. But we're gonna go ahead and finish up here. Grab this one in there. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here. I was just uh, trying to help out a few of the newer guys um, that maybe just don't uh, exactly know where to put their camp. And I know the Heartlands is a very populated area. Um, so that can be sometimes an issue when you're trying to hunt this area here. It really does not matter if you're in a full lobby or not. Um, there's always animals here. So, uh, yeah, I hope this uh, helped a few people out there. If it did, make sure you guys do share, like, and subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 10K this year, so I could really use your help. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.